Well, we don't have a clear picture of the electorate, and we won't for some time. But when you consider the extent to which women's rights were on the ballot in this election, there's one thing I'm willing to say for sure. If you set a white woman in America on fire, they might not put the flames out if it means getting their hair wet. I mean, for fuck's sakes, ladies, we're the majority here. And if you need an example of how this shit works, might I suggest you look at Poland? As you'll recall from last week, Poland's extreme right-wing government just effectively banned abortion. And so the women of that country basically said, the fuck you did. In what was apparently the largest demonstration Poland has seen since the collapse of the Soviet Union, more than 100,000 people turned out in Warsaw to protest the decision. Protests went on for days, and the latest news as of the time of this recording is that the government has delayed implementation of the new ban. Meanwhile, back in the good old U.S. of A., Lindsey fucking Graham prevails in the most expensive Senate campaign in the history of the universe, even after saying that women could go anywhere in this country, quote, if you are pro-life, if you embrace your religion, and you follow traditional family structure, end quote. So in other words, you can go anywhere you want as long as it's somewhere he says you can go. He said a remarkably similar thing about black Americans about a week before that. And still, we send him back to the goddamn Senate. Of course, I can't blame the women in this country entirely. I mean, they voted better than the men did, at least. And it's also worth reminding myself that much of the time when they didn't, it's because they're victimized by the same shit we're fighting against every week on this show. And just in case we were in danger of forgetting that, plenty of Christian leaders were piping up to remind Christian women that God wants them to vote how their husbands tell them to. Like, for example, Jesse Sumter of the Christ Church in Moscow, Idaho, who took time off from packing hundreds of people at a time into small spaces amid some of the worst pandemic numbers in the country, to remind the church's Twitter followers, quote, Brothers, a friendly reminder for elections. Make sure your wife votes exactly as you do. End quote. Now, it's worth noting that he's not talking to the women here. He's talking to the men. And how the hell one makes sure of how their wife votes is entirely beyond me. But it sounds an awful lot like advocating for voter intimidation to me. So, you know, if laws ever start applying to religious people, he might have to worry about that. Anyway, I've got a page to refresh incessantly. So I'll wrap things up there and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.